what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys i just wanted to kind of come up here and do a do an updated version of a video that i did probably i don't know maybe a year ago on this on this question right here um shout out to kelly cooper kelly's been following me for a while kelly drops a comment always appreciate your comments i always always do do and i love comments that um that that come from people that want to learn so if you guys are new to my channel man i've been building a social media agency since 20 2016 2017 really 2017 um building a social media agency going after clients offering social media marketing services facebook advertising services and pretty much that's it and and focused on one niche um and 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 pretty much crushed it kind of found my niche found my way um found my outreach as far as my marketing method and and it worked um, and it continues to work to this day and so I dropped a video on this about a year ago on on just kind of going through how I how I do it and I'll just make this one a short simple one um, um, because really I mean either you guys are gonna do it or you're not man either either and it doesn't even matter what the hell the marketing method is either you guys are gonna freaking get off your asses and go build something and say you know what the hell with it I don't give a damn what type of brick wall gets in front of me. I'm going to find a way to bulldozer right through it. And I'm not going to stop until I become successful. You have to have that type of mindset first and foremost before any type of marketing method. There is no secret. There is no crazy, crazy, insane strategy. It comes down to freaking work. It comes down to hustle. It comes down to work ethic. I have a little 12-year-old son and I brainwash him every single day on the importance of work ethic. I tell him all the time, dude, I'm like, man, I don't need you to be the smartest. I don't need you to be the fastest. I don't, mean, I don't need you to be the strongest. I need you to outwork everybody. I need you to have work ethic. When people are reading for one hour a day, I need you reading for three hours a day. While people are going to football practice for two hours a day, I need you practicing for three hours a day. So I'm trying to instill this work ethic inside of him because I truly believe that beats any type of method, any type of secret, any type of strategy, you have to be willing to work your ass off and outwork everybody else. That's kind of what I brought to the table. I learned that at the age of 19. So it was work ethic above anything. I had a mentor. Um, still to this day, he's one of my mentors. Shout out to my boy, Matey. Um, became best friends, best friends with him at the age of 19, 20 years old. And one thing I, I learned from this guy was work ethic. He outworked everyone. Everyone wanted to know how he was successful. And to tell you the truth, it wasn't anything out of the ordinary. It was simple. It was the simple fact that he would outwork you. If, if, if you were working eight hours a day, he was working 15 hours a day. It was simple work ethic, man. And I learned that at the age of 19. And, 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 and that stuck with me till this day. And so that's where I truly believe you guys need to start, man. You need to start with work ethic. You need to have some type of drive, some type of motivation, and some type of reason why to even want to do the damn thing. Okay, so um, with that being said, now, yeah, then it comes down to type of methods. And I tell you the truth, man, every method works. Every method works. But let me just kind of break down Kelly's. Let me just answer her question um, and, 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 and just tell you what I've been able to do. Um, Kelly wanted me to do a video on outreach to get SMMA clients. Okay. So again, as I mentioned, I have been doing this and, and getting SMMA clients since, since let's just call it 2017 because in 2016, I started going after that niche, but I was selling them website services. And that was at the end of 2016 into, into the beginning of, of 2017. And it wasn't until the end of 2017 when I said, you know what, forget about website, website services, I'm going to come up with my own package and I'm going to sell them that. I'm going to go get my own Stripe account. I'm going to charge these credit cards myself. That money's going to go into my, my bank account and I'm going to close deals. And so that happened at the end of 2017, um, focused on one niche. And, and, and let, me, let, me let me talk about um, the niche a bit because the niche is so important, man. You have so many freaking people trying to trying to go out there and get clients, right? Whether you're a freelancer, whether you're you're calling yourself an SMMA, S I can't even say the damn SMMA agency, whatever the hell you want to label yourself as, you're out there getting clients. You're out there trying to reach people and 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 deliver some type of service to them, right? Um, and it doesn't even necessarily have to be a marketing service. It could be anything, dude. Any type of service, whether you're a landscaper, 
whether you're a plumber and you're looking for clients, whatever, dude, the same strategy applies for every type of business um, if you're offering services, okay? So when it comes down to it, um, my whole thing was, was, was being able to, to, to focus on a niche where I have some type of experience. So that's number one. You have to go into some type of, this is just my opinion, but at the same time, I truly believe you'll be more successful. If you were to find a niche that you can resonate with, that you have some type of experience in, that you have some type of passion in, that, that a niche that excites you, whether you want to learn about that niche and you can see yourself building something else within that niche in the future, or whether you come from that niche with previous experience, maybe you were in, a, in, in some type of career field that has to do with that industry or that niche somehow, some way, because that previous experience that alone is going to help you relate to that niche. So for example, with me, I come from real estate and mortgages. I, I come from marketing. That's where it all started. Marketing, advertising, network marketing, marketing just as a whole in general. That started at the age of 19, right? So it all, it all, it all, came, it all started with marketing. But as I started getting a little older, um, it was that, that, let's just call that 1999. In 2010 is when I got into the mortgage industry. So that's kind of where it all started for me with now running an agency going after who I'm about to tell you I'm going after. But it, it all started in mortgages when I was in the banking industry doing, doing mortgages. People that need to refinance their home, we would, we would take care of them. People that are looking to purchase a home, we would take care of them. So in that industry of mortgages is when I networked and met real estate agents. And because I had a marketing background, I knew that the majority of them were not leveraging market. They were not, they weren't, they were not only were they not marketing, but they weren't leveraging social media marketing. And I'm noticing this as a lender doing mortgages, just networking and meeting these types of people. I'm like, dang, dude, they're trying to build a business, but they're not even advertising. Like this is stuff that I would think in the back of my mind, right? As I'm, as I'm doing their mortgage, as real estate agents would come to our bank to help us get their client approved to purchase a home, right? So I'm just noticing different things. And, and so at the end of 20, 2016 is when I already got, I was already fed up. I was sick and tired. Um, I wanted out of the industry somehow, some way. I did not want to do mortgages anymore. So I kind of stumbled across a website company that was actually marketing a good product. They were marketing websites. I was able to partner with them and they told me that I can go sell them to anybody. And I'm like, okay, cool. Let me go after real estate agents. Real estate agents need a, need a website. They need to have some type of online presence. Let me start going after them because I had the experience of working with them in the past. That's kind of what, when the light bulb went on, I'm like, okay, maybe I can focus on these people because I already know that they suck at marketing. I already know that they're spending way too much in marketing. I already know that they're missing what needs to be done on social media today. So I'm already knowing this, right? So it starts with website. And as I started selling them websites, that was successful, but that wasn't that, that long. It was only a few months, end of 2016 into 2017. And then I started, and then I pivoted into social media marketing, no website, social media marketing, Facebook advertising. And that's kind of where, 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 where it took off. And so I tell this to my clients all the time. I'm like, man, I go into helping real estate agents and I could, and, and, and from a marketing perspective, I knew that I had to reach them somehow, some way. And I tell this to my clients all the time. I'm like, dude, I knew I, I, knew I didn't want to telemarket. I wasn't going to call every agent in the country and, and pitch them marketing services. I wasn't going to reach out to my previous network of realtors that I worked with and I, when I was doing mortgages. I wasn't going to reach out and say, hey, John, you know, I did your mortgage. Do you want me to do your marketing services now? Like, I didn't want to be that guy either. I wasn't going to door knock. You know, there's a real estate office on every damn corner here in San Diego. I was not going to jump in my car and drive to every freaking office, office to pitch them social media marketing services. I wasn't going to do that. I truly wanted to learn what it was going to take to build this from home on my freaking laptop. And so what I did, and I got this from Gary V. Shout out to Gary V. This is where, where let, let me back up. Let me give myself credit for a little bit. I'm going, to give, I'm going to sound a little cocky, but it is what it is. I'm going to give myself a little bit of credit first because I actually... I actually started doing that without, without anybody, without, without learning from anybody. I started direct messaging 
these agents on social media. And it was, and, and, and that was in 2017. And it wasn't until I think 2018 when I saw a video from Gary V and that's what he was talking about. And that's when the light bulb went on. I'm like, holy shit, I am doing the right thing. This was, this was maybe already almost a year into to me direct messaging. And then I get, I get a confirmation from Gary V. I watch a video and he's like, dude, hit people through the DM. And he was talking about Instagram. And I'm like, holy crap, dude, I've been doing that on Facebook. I've been doing that on LinkedIn. I'm like, dude, I'm seeing success. And then, and then that video, when I saw his video, I'm like, holy crap, what I'm doing is working. If I were to just step it up, I'd get even more deals. And that's what I did, man. I came from the telemarketing background, right? When I jumped into mortgages, even before mortgages, in, in, in just my basic overall marketing, marketing experience, a lot of it had to do with telemarketing. A lot of it had to do with picking up the phone and freaking smiling and dialing. I would dial hundreds of numbers a day, man. I built a seven-figure company myself. My company, my business here in San Diego, 50 employees, 4,000 square foot office. I'm the CEO. I'm writing payroll. I built that from my bedroom into a brick and mortar office down the street here in San Diego back in 05, 06, 07, telemarketing. So I come from that whole hustle, right, background of, of, of telemarketing and, 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 and going through your numbers, right? So I bring that whole concept and strategy and work ethic to the DM. And that's when, when I watched his video in 2018, that's when I just stepped it up a few notches and I'm like, holy shit, dude, I'm going to be consistent with this. This is how I'm going to reach people. I don't need to telemarket. I don't need to even run Facebook ads right now. I am hitting them through the DM and I'm seeing success. And so this right here, let me refresh this, this Stripe account. This is my Stripe account, man. Um, 376, is that, was that, was that what it was? Three, 376, 533 successful payments. You guys, I'm telling you, man, let me put it this way, because I gotten a handful, and I'm talking about a handful. Let's just say two handfuls. Let's call it 10, okay? I've gotten two handfuls of the 376, so let's call it 366. About two handfuls of these clients of 376 came from YouTube. Okay, so now that I've been building this YouTube channel since 2017, people are finding me on YouTube. They're reaching out and they're saying, hey David, can you help me too? A handful came from YouTube, okay? The other 366 came from the DM. So am I better than you guys or am I better than anybody else? Not really. Now, to tell you the truth, I am a closer. I am a closer. You, I, hope, I hope you guys are closers too, right? I am a closer. Your boy will pull a credit card from anybody over the phone. However, the method was the DM. And, and, and what I did is Facebook, and, and you can do this on any platform. Facebook, the personal page, okay? Not the business page. Facebook, the personal page, LinkedIn, your Instagram account, your Twitter, Okay. Those alone, those, those, uh, those accounts alone, man, what you want to do is you want to pick your niche. And again, I chose real estate because I came from it. So, so it allowed me to, to, to relate to the, to the end user, to the client. It allows me to, to, to talk real estate, talk the verbiage, the, the terminology, the freaking experience. Once I tell them I was in the mortgage industry, they're like, holy shit. Okay, cool. This guy knows what he's talking about. I wouldn't be able to say that if I was going after dentists or if I was going after chiropractors, like I have no experience whatsoever. And that's where I think a lot of people get it wrong. A lot of people chase the money. A lot of people chase these high paying clients because you think you can go get five clients paying you 3000 a month each and you're going to freaking do well. You may do well for a little bit, you, but, but it's going to take you a long time to even get those clients, man, because as you're recruiting and as you're just reaching out and marketing and as you're trying to get appointments, you're not going to be on the same page as far as your, your terminology and, 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 and your conversation. That convo has to flow. That person has to automatically be like, damn, okay, he's just like me. He knows what I'm going through. He knows what I'm talking about. Maybe that person can help me. If I was talking about a completely different industry that I had no experience in, I truly believe it'd be 10 times harder and I wouldn't have hundreds of clients. This right here is from 2017. 
January 2017. And I don't think I closed my, my, my first transaction until September of 2017. So to tell you the truth, I don't even think this needs to be at January. If I took it up to, let's, let's just go um, September, what, what is that, um, nine? I think it's nine. So if I go nine, I think it'd be the same number. Yeah, see, 376. Because I didn't start closing deals. I didn't start putting people through my Stripe account until until September of 2017. Look, it's 376. So I don't think that would have been that number at all if I went after an industry that I had no experience in, okay? So number one was the industry. You have to pick something that you come from, man. I truly believe that would help you more than more than anything else and then number two i started reaching people through the dm to this day i haven't even ran facebook ad to ads to get a client now where i'm at right now with the making of this video 2020 okay june 2020 my whole plan now is to take all this knowledge that i have and 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 all these services that i did for this for this niche and what I put together and what I've been working on for the past year is an actual digital course, a training course with video tutorials, teaching people how to do it themselves. So in June, 2020, that's what I plan on rolling out. I've been working on that for a while now, but I, I, I just want it to be right, man. I want it to be right. I want to scale it. And that's a course that I'll be selling at high ticket. And then I'll start running Facebook ads to a webinar and getting people to buy my course. That's where I'm headed now with all this. Okay. So all this knowledge, man, it, 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 it it's all being packaged up, bottled up and going to be sold via digital courses. Okay. Now, whether it's LinkedIn, whether it's Instagram, whether it's Facebook, the personal page, what I would do and what I did do is I literally took every person that I knew, man, my in-laws, my brother, my mother, my freaking cousins, my nephew, my best friends. When you look at all of your, all of, let's, let's say you pick LinkedIn. Okay. Let's say you pick LinkedIn as the actual platform. You only need to pick one. You don't need to pick all these platforms. It's either going to be LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, the personal page. Okay. So choose one of those platforms Remove every friend that you have, every real friend. I'm talking about the real friends, people you actually physically know, right? It's only a couple hundred. So if you have 3,500 friends on Facebook, I'm willing to bet there's only about 100 of them that you actually know. Your cousins, your aunts, your in-laws, your wife's friend, like there's only about 100, let's say 200, okay? So out of my thousands of friends on Facebook, it was only about 200 that I actually knew people that I went to school with that I don't even talk to anymore, but they're high school friends and we're on Facebook, but I haven't seen them for freaking 15 years. Right? So it's like those random people you do know, but chances are you don't even stay in touch with them anymore. So what I did is I reached out to every single one of them and I said, Hey man, I'm getting ready to, 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 to actually to tell you the truth, to be very, very honest with you. I told him I was closing that account. I told him that, that I'm closing this personal account. And you can either follow me on my business page or Instagram. So when you look at my Instagram, look, dude, I am not plain. When I'm, when you look at my Instagram, in fact, my link is in the, is in the description. I don't, I don't want to mess this up. Go to my Instagram, my link, my IG link is in the description. Go to my Instagram. There's only about a couple hundred people there. Nine out of 10 of those people are people that I know. Those are people that used to be on my personal Facebook page until I moved them all over to my Instagram because I said, Hey man, I need to free up this page. Or I told them I'm actually closing it because they don't, they didn't, they weren't going to understand me requesting a bunch of people that I'm, that I'm going to do business with. So I just said, you know what? I'm closing this account. Can you please follow me on my business page or my Instagram account? And that's what they did, man. So now I have on my Instagram, it's only a couple hundred. I don't have these crazy numbers on, on these platforms. I don't because I'm not a social media butterfly. Everything I'm doing is going on YouTube. And then everything else that I'm going to be doing is a Facebook ad. So I'm not posting all the time at all, at all at all. But those 200 people all came from my personal page because my whole strategy was to fill up my friend list. You only get 5,000 on Facebook. My whole strategy was to fill them all up with people in my niche. These are all potential clients of mine. These are all people that I want to get to know. These are all people that I want to help. And that's what I did. So I did mine on Facebook and just filled up 5,000 people that, that I can potentially help and do business with. And so since 2017, you guys, right here, I'm telling you, let's just call it 360. 
360 of them came from the DM, okay? One thing you have to know also is what they're lacking, okay? The pain, the pain points, the freaking what they suck at, like as far as marketing, how you can bring value, what you can do to help them that's even better. Majority of those clients came from me starting off low with them, starting, starting, starting them off small, right? Offering a, a, an initial beginner package and then upselling them down the line. So my whole secret was knowing what they sucked at, what they were missing, how I can bring value to what that, that missing piece was, and then starting them on some type of small package, which, which still allows my family and I to eat, right? And then, and, then, and, then, and then upselling them in the future for even more services and more value, okay? So 360 came from the DM, and that's how they continue to come. I still DM to this day. I get a lot of clients. In fact, just last week alone, just last, last week alone, I brought on seven new clients. Shout out to every single one of you guys. Seven new clients last week alone. We're talking the last seven days all from the DM. All my clients, you guys come from the DM. A handful has came from YouTube. So shout out to every single one of you, man. If you're new to my channel, subscribe, dude. If you made it this far in the damn video, subscribe. My name is David. I'm out here in San Diego building a social media agency um, and a digital publishing company. Now I'm just taking all this knowledge, man, and I'm packaging it all up. I'm going to be offering it to my niche, right? Because there's because out of the 376, let's just call it 360 or whatever, not all of them could afford me monthly, right? So that's where the idea of me putting it all into a training course and having you just buy my course, which is going to teach you how to do all this stuff without you having to hire anyone. So that's where I'm at now is, is, is now publishing courses, digital courses to leverage my time and now make even more money because now I'm going to be able to put Facebook ads on autopilot, run it to my automated webinar and get people to buy at a high ticket. That's my freaking ultimate goal, man. And just bring value to the same niche, okay? So one thing you want to do for sure is, 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 is focus on one niche. Don't keep going after different people. I speak to, shout out to my girl, Dee Dee. Shout out to Dee Dee. But every time I talk to her, she's talking about a different business. And I'm like, shit, Dee, stay, stick to one business, man. Stick to one industry, one niche, because that's going to allow you to freaking master that and just simply duplicate it over and over and over and over. And, 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 and when it comes to different services, what, what I do do is help them with their social media marketing and their Facebook advertising. But when it comes to Facebook advertising, there's also landing pages, sales funnels, email automation that also are involved as well. So by sticking to one niche, it allows me to, to now have these funnels that I can go give to them over and over and over and over. I create a handful of funnels one time and I could just give it to them. So if you're an affiliate, that's where my affiliate marketing commissions come from because I create these sales funnels for my clients and just give it to them. Have them activate their account. They click on my link, which is the link you see in the description, profitwithcarter.online. That gives them a 14-day trial for their landing pages. And then I, I send them over a share code where all they got to do is import the funnel that I made for them to justify even more value. So that's my little affiliate, affiliate marketing commission is by giving them funnels. But if I had to create funnels for doctors, chiropractors, yoga studios, real estate agents, freaking dentists, I'd be all over the place, man, a florist, a restaurant. I'd be all over the place and I wouldn't be able to master my craft. Focus on one niche, man. Focus on one niche. And, and this whole strategy as well, you guys, it's for the person that doesn't have a huge budget. When I started, just because I came from mortgages and banking, I didn't save one penny. So when I made the transition and pivoted, I was dead broke. So I didn't have a ton of money to start running Facebook ads to, to try to get clients. I had to do it on a, sho on a shoestring budget. And that's where it all came from. I didn't choose the DM just because I freaking wanted to direct message 300 people a day. I, I had to choose it because it's like, shit, everyone's on social media. This is an easy and a free way for me to get to all of them. And if I can just remove every dumbass on my friend list who is not even my friend anymore, just because you knew me in high school, bro, you haven't messaged me since. So don't think that we're still friends. No disrespect, but it's like, dude, 
I have a business to build and you're taking up a spot. That's how I would look at it. So right, when you look at your friend list, man, all, dude, I'm telling you, when you're scrolling through your newsfeed on Facebook, when you're scrolling through your newsfeed on Instagram, when you're, when you're scrolling through your newsfeed, newsfeed on LinkedIn, when you're scrolling through your newsfeed on Twitter, whoever you're connected with, I'm willing to bet nine out of 10 of them are random ass people. So as you sit here and scroll through your Instagram, who the hell are you even looking for? You're, you're, you're connected with 50,000 people. You're following freaking 10,000 people. It's like, holy shit, for what? What the hell are you following, dude? You're in your newsfeed just looking at freaking, what the hell are you looking at, dude? That's what blows my mind. So it's like, forget about following freaking a bunch of weirdos. Focus on a niche. Go request all of them. If you're going after plumbers, go look for every damn plumber on Facebook and request them as a friend. You're going after freaking landscapers, go search for every single one of them. You're going after restaurant owners, go search every single one of them on LinkedIn. You're going after chiropractors, yoga studios, go search every single one of them, dude, and request them as a friend. And don't just pitch them right away. Don't just pitch them right away. My first message is, a, is, is an intro without sounding like a freaking salesman because there's a thin line, dude. There's a super thin line. You can send somebody a message and automatically, like, like those of you that send me an email, I'm like, holy shit, dude, what a rookie. Like automatically, I know you're trying to pitch me something, dude. Make it genuine, especially on LinkedIn. LinkedIn blows my mind. All you freaking dumbasses on LinkedIn that message me, it's like, holy crap, dude, rookies. And no disrespect, I love you guys. I'm just, you know, I'm just talking smack over here. Rookies, dude, total rookies. Like I already know you're trying to sell me something, bro. Like that was not a genuine message at all. Like at all at all. That first message has to be genuine, man. Hey, John, this is David. Hey, dude, I noticed you're super successful at freaking landscaping. That's freaking awesome. Hey, man, I've been helping landscapers with their social media marketing and Facebook advertising for the past two years. I'd love to just give you some secret strategies, give you some information that would really help you take your business to the next level. Love to chat with you someday, man. Have a great day. Until then, continue to crush it. You guys, I hope you guys replay that message right there, dude. I freaking freestyled that. That was at the top of my head because it comes so natural for me. Yes, I'm telling you what I do. Yes, I'm mentioning it, but I'm not in any way aggressively trying to get you on the phone. I'm just saying, hey, man, I'd love to give you some free information. And here's what happens. That person replies back and says, damn, David. Okay, yeah, man, I'd love to hear, hear what kind of free stuff you can offer. And, I, and I'll reply back and I'll say, hey, man, I've been doing this for, I've been doing this for a long time. I could, I, could, I could really show you some amazing things that will really help your business. But I am going to do one thing. I am going to charge you and I'm going to charge you a good review. Let me know you're, if you're up for it and we'll schedule a time tomorrow. That right there, you guys, has been my secret weapon, all right? That right there, that was worth the freaking time you invested in watching this video. So again, if you haven't subscribed, man, subscribe. I'm dropping daily videos all of 2020, just bringing the fire on what I got going on. Um, but that person will reply back and say, damn, David, only a good review? That's it, man. And here's what happens. Nine, well, here's what happens. Here's what happens 10 out of 10 times, but let's just call it nine out of 10, just to be a little conservative, Okay. Nine out, of ten, nine out of 10 times when I get that person on the phone, okay, they're looking for a free strategy. They're looking at to, to build their, their business on social media. You're telling them you're going to give them some free advice and all you're going to do is charge them a good review. Nine out of 10 times when we go and schedule that call and what I do is I say, hey man, send me your email and best time tomorrow. I'll add us to the calendar and email you a confirmation. What I end up emailing them is my Zoom link. I tell them it is a Zoom call. I don't ask for a phone number. It's not a phone call. We're going to jump on Zoom so I can visually share my screen and walk you through what your pages are missing and how I can help. I'm going to show you some examples of maybe another yoga studio that I was able to help. And you're going to really see the light and day. Um, the, the, you're going to really see the, the, the difference versus the night and day of what, of what I'm bringing to the table. So I, I do it that way, right? I do it that way. I get them on the call. I get them on Zoom. And then, and, then, and, then, and, then I, and, then, and then once I get them on that call, right? We're on Zoom. Nine out of, nine out of 10 times, they're like, damn, David, I've never, I never looked at it that way. You're right. My page is missing this. 
my 200, my 200 likes, you're right. I clicked invite and invited every single one of them and not one of them do I know and not one of them live in my local area. You're right. I do need to take that number to 2000. You're right, David. I do need to be running Facebook ads to my local area to take them to a landing page, to capture the lead, to then email, automate that lead and nurture the list. You're right, David. Shit. I need to do all that, but I'm super busy with my business and I don't know one damn thing about any of it. What would you charge me to do to do it all for me? Nine to, out of 10 times, you guys, that's what ends up happening. They end up hiring me to go get the job done because I was, because I came at them from a, from a place of humility. I didn't throw up on them. I didn't hit them up aggressively. I didn't say, I didn't pitch them hardcore. I said, first of all, I said, Hey man, thank you so much for accepting my friend request. I see you're super successful in the industry. That's really cool. In fact, I've been helping landscapers for the past two years with their social media marketing and Facebook advertising. I'd love to give you some free strategies. These are strategies you can do yourself. That's why I tell them in the first message, man, these are strategies you can do yourself. I'd love to maybe just, you know, get a couple minutes and, 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 and share my screen and just show you what you can do to take your business to the next level on social media in 2020. In fact, let me know if tomorrow works. I'll email you my, my, my Zoom link. We can jump on. I can share my screen and show you what you can do yourself. You don't even need to hire anyone. I'm telling you. And, and John, by the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do all that for a good review on my business page. You guys, anybody would be like, okay, damn, this guy's willing to give me free information and all he's charging me is a good review. Hell yeah, I'll take that call. And especially when, you're, when, you're, when your social media platforms are all optimized. Links are matching. You got thousands of likes on your business page. Like your credibility has to be there as well. So many of you have a blank Facebook page. I go to your page. I look at the intro. There's nothing there. I'm like, holy shit, is this person even real? You got to optimize your pages, man. Put some posts out. Update your profile picture. Match your links. Do simple things like that to add credibility to your page because these people that you're messaging are going to look you up. They're going to click on your profile. They're going to go to your page and don't, don't let it be where your freaking last post was from 2017. Don't make it be where your intro doesn't say anything about what you do. It's like, dude, come on, optimize, update your shit. And, and, and people will take you more seriously. And, and, and so with all that being said, they're like, heck yeah, David, here's my email. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. works for me. I look them up. I make sure we're in the right time zone. I go to my Karcher calendar. So what I do is I'll, I'll just, um, well, with Karcher, you, I mean, Kart, again, if you, if you don't know what Karcher is, click on the link in the description, profitwithkarcher.online. I use Karcher for my landing pages, my email automation, my course um, to host all my video you know, trainings for my course. I use it for my calendar. Um, I use it for my affiliate marketing. So what I end up doing is I always end up going for the next day. Let me know your best time tomorrow. And that's another secret. I don't say, Hey, I'm only available tomorrow at 9am. No, dude. I tell them in the DM, let me know your best time tomorrow. Send me your email. Here are my exact, exact words. Send me your email and best time tomorrow. I'll add us to the calendar and email you a confirmation, okay? Those are my exact words, man. So I'm not asking for a phone number. I'm asking for tomorrow. And nine, nine out of 10 times that person says, oh, I can do 10 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, cool. I'll email you here shortly. Thank you so much. Chat tomorrow. That is it, dude. That is it. I'll add them to my calendar. Through my Karcher calendar, an email confirmation goes out with the, with the information regarding the link, which is my Zoom link. So zoom.us is, is what I use to screen share. And I do it this way so I can visually show them. And, and, and to tell you the truth, I turn off the camera. So I'll go like this and, and it's just voice, but I share my screen so I can walk them all through it, okay? And, and, and so I don't have my camera on because a lot of people are shy on camera as well. So I make them try to feel as comfortable as possible. And I'll, I'll even tell them in the email, hey man, I don't use webcam. It's gonna be 100% voice. Um, I use Zoom just so I can screen share and visually walk you through all of it. And again, John, I'm going to ask you for a good review. That's about it. So hopefully you don't, you know, screw me and, and you keep your word. You know, I'll make fun of it, right? And, and just tease them a little bit. And they'll be like, oh, 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 yeah, of course, I'll give you a good review. You know what I mean? And so that's how I do it, you guys. And then nine out of 10 times, as I mentioned, they're like, damn, David, 
I don't know how to do any of that. Like I haven't run a Facebook ad. My ads always get rejected. I tried running a like ad. I spent 50 bucks and got two likes. Like you'll find out that these people, you guys, with all due respect, don't know a damn thing about Facebook advertising or social media. And that's where, that's where you want to be for, for local businesses right now, 2020 and beyond for at least the next few years, as I can see, it's, it's, it's Facebook advertising. Social media marketing is, is organic posting, posting on all these damn platforms and thinking you're being productive. When it comes to the local business owner, and I tell this to them all the time when I'm on these calls, look at all these damn strategy calls I do, man. You, I'm doing strategy calls every damn day and putting them up on this channel for you guys. But I'm telling them on all these calls, man, I'm like, dude, if you're a local business owner, organic posting is a waste of time because 99% of your 4,000 Instagram followers all live across the country. 99% of all the Facebook friends you have, you got 3,700 Facebook friends, 99% of them live across the country. You clicked invite to all those people to like your business page. Now you have 593 likes on your business page and you're over there posting on your, fo on your Facebook business page when 99% of your 593 live across the country. You're following people on Twitter. Who, who lives in your local area, man? Unless you're the mayor of your town, 99% of your friends that you're connected with on LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. TikTok, if you guys are over there freaking dancing and shit on TikTok, 99% of all the people you're connected with live across the country. So if you're a local business owner and you're trying to post organically, you're dead. You're not staying in business very long, bro, at all. So when it comes to marketing, if you're a business owner, you need to be Facebook advertising. If you're an agency like me trying to help business owners, you need to be running Facebook ads for them. Bottom line, that's it, dude. Mic drop, I could end the video right here. That's it. So when you're on these calls, you're not pitching the fact that you're going to post for them every day. Hell no. That's what I do not do. I do not post for people at all, at all, at all, because of everything I just said, 99% don't even care. We're running Facebook ads. So when I get that business owner on the phone, man, with all due, due respect, they don't know a damn thing about Facebook ads, man, at all. And, 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 and it's not that they should, they're busy building their business and to build a business is not easy, man. I don't care what kind of business you're building. It ain't easy. Although marketing is the most important, 10 out of 10 business owners, forget about that part. And so they're not in the trenches learning the newest marketing method. Um, they're in the trenches trying to freaking figure out all the logistics of building a damn business. And that alone takes, your, takes up your whole damn day. Right. So when you can bring value and, and you can and you can focus on 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 just a handful of services, don't try to be the jack of all trades and post for them on, the, on all these platforms. Do all of their social media marketing designs, freaking run all this and run all that. No, dude. Keep it simple. Facebook advertising. What I do is Facebook advertising and landing page management because. Without the landing page, then we got to run lead generation Facebook ads. And I'm not about to run lead generation Facebook ads. I want to run conversion ads to a landing page to capture the email, to nurture the list via email automation. And we need Kartra for all that. So what I do in my business is I help them with Facebook advertising and landing page management. And I do all the landing pages through Kartra. So that allows me to charge them. It allows me to send them my affiliate link for Kartra and make an affiliate commission on that account. Not only are they paying me monthly to do all this stuff for them, but I'm also making a residual income on their Karcher account because I'm, I'm explaining the importance of needing one and, 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 and being successful with it all. So narrow in the services, man. All a business owner cares about, dude, all they freaking care about is lead capture. If you can capture a lead and hopefully turn that lead into a paying customer for that business owner, they will freaking love you to death and they'll keep you around for three lifetimes. That's just the way it is, man. You bring customers, you bring a business customers, they love you for life. That's all there is to it, man. So it ain't all this other fancy stuff. It's, it's, it's getting down to the bottom line. You're paying me to bring in leads. You're paying me to bring in customers and that's it. And I'm telling you right now, the best way is Facebook advertising whether it's Instagram advertising or depend on your business, YouTube advertising, but it is paid traffic. You're not going to pay me to post organically. That's not going to happen. You're not going to see an ROI 
at all, unless you're a nationwide business. If you're a nationwide business, then organic posting and posting 50 million times a day like Gary Vaynerchuk preaches, then that makes sense. If you're trying to build a nationwide brand and you have a nationwide business, go after everyone and their mother on social media. But if you're a local business owner, the best way and damn near the only way to target your market right now, June 2020, is through Facebook advertising. I could take that post, target my local backyard, and crush it all damn day. Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads, targeting, okay? So you as an agency or you as a freelancer, narrow down your services, man. Focus on only a handful of, of, of high ROI services and these businesses will love you forever man okay so shout out to kelly cooper that's how i got all my clients man um 99.9999 percent of all of them have came from the dm and and keeping it real but not just half-assed in it going all in this is all i've been doing you guys full-time since 2017 all right i feed my family this way i built my youtube channel around all of this so with my youtube channel you could see my my youtube channel growing shout out to every single one of you man god bless you guys god bless every single one of you guys i pray for you every freaking day you have no idea man how much i appreciate you guys that are subscribed to the channel because all i've done over here man is i've literally documented all this shit i just spent the last 20 minutes talking about all of this stuff dude all I did is I simply documented it here on YouTube. And now my now, now you've seen what it all turned into. Now I got this income from YouTube, which I am so freaking thankful for. I got this ad money coming in every single 21st of the month. YouTube deposit cash in my, in my account. I am so freaking humbled. I am so grateful for that income. You have no idea, man. And it all came from me just showing you guys what I do on a daily. This is what I do daily, man. So I'm telling you, on a shoestring budget, I've been able to build this business. Now I'm going into scaling my digital course and taking that to a whole nother level. So shout out to every single one of you guys. Shout out to Kelly for asking the question. 376, 360, let's call it, came from the DM and, and, and just keeping it real, bringing value and, um, and nothing else, man. Keep it simple. You got to hustle. You got to have the hustle mentality, man. You got to, you got to, you got to be focused. You got to be determined. You got to be like, holy shit, I'm not going to stop until I freaking win. You cannot quit, man. So focus on that one niche, wherever your passion is at, wherever your excitement is and go all in. All right. And on the side, I would highly also, let me throw out there, start a YouTube channel because not only is, is YouTube paying me and I'm very thankful for that income, but because of my YouTube channel, it solidifies my credibility. Now as clients go and look me up, not only can they go to my Facebook page and see thousands of people that like my business page, page, but they can come over here to YouTube and see a freaking video that I'm dropping every damn day talking about the same crap. So it's like, that right there, you guys, is major credibility when clients can go to your YouTube channel and see videos that, that, that you're preaching on what you're preaching. It's like, dude, that's instant credibility. So that's why I truly believe 360 of them came from the DM. The other, let's just call 16. It's really a handful. Let's just call it 10, whatever, came from YouTube. And these are people that have found my videos. Shout out to Chris Garcia. Shout out to freaking Marlon Salee with freaking Salee Portable Buildings. Shout out to freaking Didi. Shout out to all Mark Turner. Shout out to all these people that have found me from YouTube. And all that is, man, is credibility. All that is is, is, is brand awareness. So whatever the hell you're doing, you have to add YouTube to your arsenal. Even if you're just a local business owner, right? If you're not going after businesses like I'm going after businesses, if you're a local business owner, start talking about your business on YouTube. All that's going to do is help you take your brand to a whole nother level and get you in, in touch with more people than you could possibly imagine. All right, you guys. So I hope that helps, man. Shout out to every single one of you. Again, if you haven't subscribed, smash the bell for notifications. Drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from. Let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on online. All right, guys. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Over and out.